Hi, in this video, we're going to learn about the new version of linear equation that is intercept form. But before moving further, I want to recall the first few form that you already learned about the linear equation that is slope intercept form. y is equal to mx plus b. Another form that is the standard form ax plus br is equal to c. And the third linear equation form that is point curve form. We can represent this point slope form y minus y1 is equal to x minus x slope. But there is one more version of linear equation that is intercept form. Not the slope intercept form. So we are going to talk how to use slope intercept form to find x and y intercept. Let's take one example. That is 2x plus 6y is equal to 18. So this equation is a standard form. Now I'm going to solve this for x intercept by keeping the y is 0. So let's start. Well, this 2 is going to be the y on both the side either I will take this to the other side and then and this become 9. So the coordinate for the given equation that is x for 9 and our y intercept is 0. Now next I'm going to find the y intercept by keeping the value of x is 0. So our expression is 2x plus 6y is equal to 80 by keeping the x is 0 and finding the value of y. So here we have 0, 6y is equal to 18, 6y is equal to 18, or is equal to 18 over 6, so I got 3. So the coordinate pairs for this equation is 0 for the x-intercept and y-intercept is 3. So this is the way we usually use to find out x and y-intercept. Now I'm going to tell you of another way to find out the x and y-intercept. So we're going to convert this linear equation from standard form to intercept form. Here we have our expression 2x plus 6y is equal to 18. To do that, I'm going to divide each term by 18. Now I'm going to reduce the fraction here. So it turns to 1 times 2, 9 times 6, 9 times 6, 3 times this period 1. So it turns to x over 9 plus y over 3 is equals to 1. So this is our intercept form. I'm going to write the formula for intercept form that is x over a plus y over b is equals to 1. So here, here a is going to be the x intercept since a product is 1. Here b is going to be the y intercept since our product is equals to the 1. So the coordinate for the given equation we have x, x intercept is 9 and y intercept is 3. Let's take another example. 6x plus 2y is equal to 36. First, I'm going to convert the standard form into intercept form. By doing so, I'm going to divide this 36 by each term. This will be cancelled out by 6 and this one by 
18 and this will be 1. So we got x over 6 plus y over 18 is equal to 1. So the x and y intercept for this linear equation we get is this is our a and this is our b. So this is our x intercept and this is our y intercept. Now this equation is in intercept form and this is our x intercept x intercept and y intercept. We can write this as an order pair that is x is equals to 6. So when our y is 0 and if I'll take this y as an 18, so I'm going to write the order pair for this. That is 0 as an x intercept and 18 as an y intercept. So this is the way you can find out quickly x and y intercept using the intercept form of the linear equation. Let's take another example. 7x minus 2y is equal to 28. Here we have the equation that is in standard form. So first we are going to change this standard form into intercept form. So by doing so, we are going to divide this 28 by each term. So we get x over 4 minus y over 14 is equal to 1. So now our equation is intercept form. But one thing is different. But here, our sign is negative, but our formula for the intercept form is x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. So here our sign is positive. So what I am going to do here, I'm going to write this x over 4 plus y over minus 14 is equals to 1. I will going to solve this plus minus sign. So minus sign will appear. So I can write this easily in this form. So now here, this is our A and this is our B. So I'm going to make the order pair when our x intercept is 4 and our y intercept when our x is 0, our y intercept is 14. Well, another unusual example that is 7x minus 6y z plus 2 10. For solving this first we need to change the standard form into intercept form so by doing so I'm going to divide each term by 10. Now here we cannot reduce our fraction. This one can only change to 1. So what I will do first, I'm going to change the sign of this by writing this 7x over 10 plus 6y over minus 10 is equal to 1. Now this equation is in the form of intercept form. So what is A and B value in this equation? A is equal to 10 over 7 and B is minus 10 over 6 minus 10 over 6 but how a is inverted y because it's on the bottom i am going to prove this by i wrote to 10 over 7 so if, if you want to prove this why you wrote it 10 over 7 here so you are going to prove this 7x over 10 is equal to what x over a so what are we going to do? I'm going to cross multiply.
is x and x cancel so what a is equals to 10 over 7 same with b as i compare 6y over minus 10 is equals to y over b so i'm going to cross multiply this So we got minus 10 over 6. So the value of b we got that is minus 10 over 6. So the coordinate pairs for the given equation we got 10 over 7 when our y is 0 and when our x is 0 we got minus 10 over 6 to 1 to 7. So this is another way we find out the x and y intercept. Thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe to my channel.